And welcome back to the studio. My name is Jack Reed, and I'm going to be joined today by Oakmont Girls softball coach, Mr. Jordan Burson. Mr. Jordan, how are you doing today? Man, I'm doing great. I'm glad to be here. Well, that is awesome. And I'm glad to be here, too, in our great set. But first off, I want to talk about you. I heard you do a Coach's Fantasy Football League. So how does that go? Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, so at the beginning of the year, Coach Blight usually organizes a uh, an, an all-coaches fantasy football league. So we've got a bunch of the teachers and coaches in the league. And... Um, yeah, he, he sets it up, organizes everything, and then we draft and we just talk trash to each other in the hallways about it and have a great time just uh, just following the NFL every week. What, what was your first pick? What was your first pick? I had the – so this is, a, this is a weird league because it's a two-quarterback league. Oh, it's one of those. So you get two running backs, two wide receivers, and two tight ends. So no, so one tight end. Oh, you get one. But tight. it is two. But it, like your standard two running back, two wide receiver, one flex option. But then there's just an, one additional quarterback starting. So you start two quarterbacks every week, which makes quarterbacks a pretty hot commodity. So our first round didn't look like a normal first round fantasy draft because a lot of the quarterbacks were going early. So with my first pick, I took Travis Kelsey. You took Travis Kelsey. Uh -huh. Okay. So I think I had the sixth overall pick. But because everybody was taking quarterbacks, a lot of the big names in the first round were still left. So I went Kelsey, and then I went Tyreek Hill, who was normally like going fifth or sixth. And then I took Amon Ross St. Brown in the third round, which he was also gone in normal leagues way earlier. So I had three really good position players, but I'm hurting that quarterback a little bit this year because I waited. Wow, that's a, that's a stacked team. I think with my first pick, I took Josh Allen, and then I took Jamar Chase with my second pick. And then I took, I think, I took the Chiefs defense with my third pick. That's a mistake. It, was a, a mistake. it was a mistake. It was a mistake. And I think my, my team has changed throughout the season. I have been on a lot of waiver wire pickups. I definitely think I, I picked up Kyron Williams, Devon A. Chain. I think those are really good. Those are really good pickups. Um, I'm five and four right now, and I'm second in my division. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm looking pretty good. But who do you think is the hottest team in the NFL right now? I, hottest is an interesting word. I think, I, I think the hottest team is the Eagles. Um, even though I think they're did they come off a loss this week? No, they beat the Cowboys. That's right. Oh yeah, they whooped the Cowboys this week, so they're in good shape. I think that's the hottest team. But the team that scares me the most, I think, is the Lions. I think the Lions are deep, and they're just a well-rounded team. I think they're well coached, and I think they might make a little run late in the year. I th I think. I think you're forgetting one team. Who's that? And that's the Baltimore Ravens. I'm not forgetting the Ravens. But but they because they they routed the Lions. I think 38 to three they did, and it was pretty pretty bad. I think the hottest team in the NFL right now is probably the Cleveland Browns. I think their defense is unstoppable. I think Miles Garrett off the rush, Zadarius Smith, Anthony Walker Jr. They have a great front seven, and then that offense is just so built with Deshaun Watson, and then they've got Miles Teller back and Joel Bitonio back. Obviously, with Nick Chubb getting injured, they don't really have a running back one. But I do think that they could get, like, better as the season goes on. I think we're only in week 10, and there's seven weeks left. So they could definitely make a run. Yeah, no, that's that's for sure true. They've, they've definitely improved. And now that Deshaun's back, that's a big, that's a big boost for them because they were riding P.J. Walker for a few weeks. Um, he, beat, yeah. he beat the Niners. He did. I know, he, he, did. Them, he, he did. He did. He did. And that's Niners. that's what that defense, like you're talking about, that defense is so good, they can really beat anybody. But that's a that's a good pull there. Yeah, the the Browns may make some noise down the stretch too. Yeah. Who I think are you what are your predictions for today's game against the Panthers against the Bears? What do you think what do you think that's gonna happen? Panthers, Bears. We still got a – is Bajant still quarterback? Ba Bajant is still quarterback. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna take the Panthers tonight. Take the Panthers. Yeah. I don't know if that's a popular pick, but uh, yeah, I like Bryce Young to get it done this week. Adam Thielen was banged up a little bit. I think he's back to full strength. I think Adam Thielen has a big night against that Bears defense. And um, I think they take care of business. I think the Panthers are – I've heard a lot of interesting talks about the Panthers and the uh, Texans recently because a lot, of, a lot of people are giving the Panthers a lot of, a lot of crap for taking Bryce Young, Bryce Young over C.J. Stroud. Yeah. Because C.J. Stroud's having a great rookie campaign, and Bryce is struggling a little bit. But, I mean, realistically, you look at the teams, like Bryce is in a much tougher spot 
CJ CJ surrounded by some weapons, some young weapons yeah, that can he's got that can tank, fly around tank a little Della bit. And Nico Collins are pretty good. Pretty yeah, two pretty good. Wide it's a good receivers. group. So I think it's I think it's way too early to say that that Bryce was a bad pick over CJ. But they don't have a first round pick. They don't they don't have the top two picks right now are the Bears and the Bears. <laughs> yes, right. Yes, they have they have they have their first round pick. So if the Bears, I think, which they will keep tanking, they will have the number. They will have the number one and the number two overall pick, and I think that'll be pretty. I think they'll be dangerous next year. Obviously, probably not. Cause I'm a Packers fan. I hope we beat them. But um, yeah, I think I think they'll be pretty dangerous next year if they keep tanking. And yeah. So if you're the Bears and you have the first and second pick, who are you taking? Ooh, I don't. I, the hype around Caleb Williams is not not where it is anymore. Yeah. After he said he wants part ownership of an NFL team, he's just not looked good. As he looked against Washington, he did not look good. He did not look good against Utah. He did not look good against Notre Dame. Um, I think Marvin Harrison Jr., wide receiver for Ohio State. And then I think I think an offensive line. They need offensive line. Dude, I actually love that that they, they decision need, by you there. Yeah. Because I don't think – I think Justin Fields can get it done. I think Justin Fields is a good quarterback. So they either need to look to trade him or or ride him. Like go with go with Justin Fields and see what you can do. And then invest in your offensive line. And I think Marvin Harrison I, Marvin Harrison Jr. is a no brainer in yeah. my mind. Yeah. That dude's unbelievable. Cause I mean, you're in a you're in a tough situation where you have Justin Fields, but you don't but he hasn't he's been four and eighteen in his first twenty two games in the NFL. So he definitely needs he needs some help. Yeah. I think I think they'll fire Matt Eberflus and get a new coach. So I think the Bears will be looking looking good good next season. I also think I don't think the uh, one team I do think is going to emerge next season. They're kind of rough right now. Are the Colts? They they're they're young right now. They just beat the Panthers, but I don't think they'll do anything. They'll make any noise next year. This year, but next year when Anthony Richardson gets back. I think he'll definitely he'll be a superstar and he'll definitely know how to play. Like, yeah, that could end up being a really good thing for them with Anthony Richardson getting hurt because you're almost forced to tank, right? Yeah, with that going on, and so that'll improve their their draft pick for next year, and maybe they can uh, maybe they can add somebody to help him out a little bit. But yeah, he's an exciting player. He, I think he's going to actually be really good. Yeah. And one one thing that we do have in common is. We're both Packers fans. So what do you think? What do you yeah. think about the Packers right now? Yeah, let's three, talk. Sitting at three and five, coming off a twenty to three win against the Rams. Yeah, let's talk Green Bay. Um I my biggest take on the Packers right now is is one thing I think Jordan Love is the answer in Green Bay. I love Jordan Love. And okay. I I think he I think he is going to get it done eventually, but he's got to have help. This receiving core is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> bad or see i don't think so it's terrible I don't think so. Dude, christian watson is atrocious no he's so bad no, he's not. i disagree no, he's not. he can't catch he can't stay healthy he had a deep ball against la one catch that's it um, he's just not the answer i mean that was a that was a that was our first round pick no i'm sorry that was our first that was our first pick in the second round yeah two years ago right what and do you what do you think they could do to make the receiving core better add receivers but like we could develop these guys and make them like really good and not have to spend any money on them. Yeah, but like they there there shouldn't be that you shouldn't have to develop hands like it 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 seems to be happening in Green Bay. It feels like we get these guys to come in, they're like athletic, they can move around a little bit, but like hands nowhere to be found. And you're exactly right. They're gonna keep getting better. The longer they're there, they're gonna get better. I don't think Christian Watson's a great route runner. I think he's I think he is a deep threat. I think we can uh, we can do the little end around reverse sometimes to, you know, get him involved. But overall, like his routes over the middle are not great. He's just not he's not a sharp route runner. I think he can get better. Um, I really don't mind. I think like Reed and Wicks can be good role players, but they have no business being like a one or two wide receiver on this team. Do you do you think out. we will beat the Steelers on Sunday? I think that's going to be a great game. First off. And based on the way we're playing right now, I'm gonna say no. No. Yeah. And yeah, I think the Steelers. I think the Steelers are on the up. I think mm -hmm. we caught a. We Packers did catch a good win this week, but I just, 
I, I don't see it. I think Kenny Pickett and the boys get it done in a close one. I'm going to say – I'm going to say 20, 26, 23, 26, Pittsburgh. 26, but 26, Pittsburgh's going to jump out to a 13-0 lead like everybody does against Green Bay. <laughs> they just don't show up in the first yeah, half. Yeah. All right, so what is your Super Bowl prediction? Um, I, 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 think I'm, I think I really like the Lions to be there from the NFC. And then I, I would love to see Lions-Dolphins. Lions, Dolphins. Would I don't see. see it. I think Dan Campbell's got some. I don't think. I don't think the Lions are making it. I think they're gonna get beat. I think in my my sports media friends mm-hmm. have flamed me for that. I think the Cowboys are making the Super Bowl. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna make it. I Why think not? I think they're gonna make a push. That'd I, be amazing. I don't know about the AFC. I don't really know what team look good. The Chiefs look good. The Dolphins look good. Yeah, the AFC is pretty wide open. I think. Yeah, it, it's pretty. Yeah, I mean. If I had to pick like a dark horse team to make it, I'd probably pick like the um from the AFC. Yeah, from the AFC. Not the Jets. No. Probably the Bills. The Bills, absolutely. Probably the I Bills. don't even know that that's fair to call them a dark horse. But they are though. I mean, you have one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Like they're coming off a two game losing streak, I think. Yeah, what are they? 5 and 4? Yeah, they're 5 and 4 and not looking not looking too good. Yeah. That's fair. So, I have heard that you are a gamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you are you are a gamer. So what games have you been playing? Um, so well, first of all, let me tell you this. I got a – there's a guy I, – I graduated from Oak Mountain, which I know we, we had talked about in our other interview a few yes. weeks ago. But um, I'll, I'll get online and play with guys that also graduated from Oak Mountain. So it's just like some of my buddies from high school. And it's just like a good time to just hang out with them. Because now – so – I'm married and I have a three-year-old, so when she goes to bed at seven o'clock, it's a great opportunity to just hop on the Xbox, play a little, play some video games with the guys, right? Because it's so hard to just—you can't like go over to friends' houses anymore as easy as you once could. Once you have kids, you gotta you gotta be at home. Um, so have playing you, some video games. Have you been nice playing good. Fortnite recently? I, I do run a little Fortnite from time to time. Um, playing a little Fortnite OG, which Fortnite, is the Fortnite, who, who's your who's your uh, squad? Who you run with? Um. All, it's just guys that went to Oak Mountain. Like you wouldn't know any of them. These are all these are all guys that like I graduated with, but they're all my age, so they're all like low thirties playing Xbox. Everybody has kids. Do you run it with Kevin McMahon? I know he plays games. Kevin too. Mc, Kevin, Kevin McMahon can Kevin run McMahon, some Fortnite. Yes, yeah, McMahon, Coach McMahon. McMahon. Yes, Coach McMahon. Absolutely, he's really good. Donald doesn't play though. I've never played with Donald. No. Never played with Donald. Mm-mm. He's more of a. He's more kind of like a. He plays cool math a lot. Is that right? He, he plays solitaire. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That sounds right. right. And then I run. Uh, I'll, I'll play some Rocket League too. Yeah, which is uh, which is a great game. Yeah. Um, that's that's more my. That I'm better. I'm way better at Rocket League than I am Fortnite. I just play Fortnite for the camaraderie, hang out with yeah. the guys. Fort, Fortnite is back. Fortnite is Fortnite is back, and I think that it's definitely. Um, well, I see all my friends post on their Snapchat stories about how they get wins and stuff, and I think it's definitely back. So um, yeah. Well, thank you for coming to the studio, Coach Burson. Thank you so much. Absolutely, um, It Jack. was a pleasure talking to you. And um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I appreciate it, man. Hey, the suit looks great. Thank you.